Slav Defense, Exchange, Symmetrical Line, 7.E3E68.BD3BXD39.QXD3BD610.BXD6QXD611.00. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. The d4 pawn is safeguarded and the knight advances toward the center with nf3. nf6 controls the e4 square and defends the d5 pawn. c4 gains space on the queen side, prepares to develop the knight to c3, and invites black to give up control of the e4 square after dx c4. When c6 is played, the d5 pawn is supported and the queen can grow on the queen side. cx d5 captures the d5 pawn, attacks the c6 pawn and controls the e6 square. cx d5 recaptures the pawn and controls the e4 and c4 squares. The pawn on d5 is attacked, the knight advances toward the center, and the e4 square is under nc3's control. The pawn on d4 is attacked, the knight moves toward the center, and the e5 square is under the control of nc6. bf4 develops the bishop to an active diagonal where it controls the center. bf5 develops the bishop to an active diagonal and maintains symmetry. e3 supports the d4 pawn and bishop on f4 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. e6 supports the bishop on f5 and the pawn on d5 while allowing the dark squared bishop to develop. BD3 develops the bishop toward the center, attacks the bishop on f5 and prepares castling. BXD3 captures the bishop before white can capture on f5. QXD3 recaptures the bishop. BD6 develops the bishop toward the center and challenges the bishop on f4. BXD6 exchanges dark squared bishops. QXD6 recaptures the bishop, develops the queen and controls the b8h2 diagonal. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. It is the last book move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening.